Rashi HaKadosh in the end of last week's parsha quotes that the concept that in the tent of Sari Imeno there were three constant ongoing miracles. Ner Shabbos Dolekes Me'erev Shabbos Le'erev Shabbos The Shabbos candles remain lit from one Friday afternoon to the next Friday afternoon. Bracha Metsuya Be'isa There was a blessing to be found in Sari Imenu's dough and Anan Kasher Al Ha'ohel There was a cloud constantly attached or tethered to the top of the tent. And the Rav Aaron Salavichik Seich HaTzadik Levracha in his Sefer, the warmth and the light asks a very simple question. He says, what's the meaning of these miracles? Miracles usually fall into one of two categories. There are utilitarian miracles, miracles that are necessary in order to accomplish something specific. We were standing at the banks of the Red Sea. We had to get across. Chesh Baruch Hu split the sea. There's millions of people in the desert. We can't starve to death. Chesh Baruch Hu brings man. Those are utilitarian miracles. And then there are other types of miracles, miracles that may not be necessary, but miracles which are there to teach us a lesson, an idea, and ideal. So ask Rabbi Soloveitchik, so what's the message of these miracles and he explains so beautifully the fact that the Shabbos candles remain lit from one era of Shabbos to the next teaches us about the need to bring the holiness of Shabbos with us into the week. That sometimes when we make Havdolah Matzi Shabbos and Baruch HaMavdol Ben Kol Desh sometimes again we leave the Kedusha of Shabbos behind and we move into the Chol, we move into the week, we move into the mundane. And the whole idea of Shabbos Kodesh is to go ahead and gather up additional holiness and bring that newfound holiness, bring that newfound Kedusha, bring the inspiration from your Seudos, from your Zemiros, from your Divrei Torah, from your Davening, from your physical rest, Bring all of that inspiration with you into the week to come. What does it mean that there was a blessing in the dough? The dough represents materialism, material wealth. Sari Imenu appreciated what she had and did not spend her time pining over what she lacked. So many times in life, we focus on what is absent. We focus on what we have. Or we focus on what someone else has and I don't have. This person has more dough than I have. And so we end up obsessing over the fact that I wish I had this, I wish I had that. If only I had this, why does he have this? Why don't I have it? Instead of focusing on what we have. And if you live a life on focusing what you have, focus on the dough you have and stop obsessing over the dough that you don't possess you begin to realize how incredibly rich you truly are. Sari Imenu appreciated the blessing in her dough. She appreciated the blessing in that which HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave her. She focused on what she had and did not obsess over what she lacked. There was a cloud constantly attached to the top of the tent. And here Rabbi Salavechi explains so beautifully, the cloud, Cloudiness represents a gloominess, right? The cloud represents a gloominess, a sadness, a despair. There's a, a Sari Imenu went through many difficult periods of life. Sari Imenu had many challenging and turbulent moments. There were many cloudy days in the life of Sari Imenu. And sometimes when you look at Sarah's life, it looked like there was always a cloud over the tent, always difficult. We know Sarah's story. She leaves behind everything she knows to follow Avram Avinu. Avram spoke to God. Sarah never spoke to God. Years of childlessness. And then when she has a child, the strife between Yishmael and Yitzchak. And then the Akedah. And then at least according to Rashi, based on the Medrash Tanhuma, Sari Imenu's death somehow connected to the Akedah. There was a cloud that was attached to the tent. Life was not easy. But yet, despite the fact that Sari Imenu had an incredibly challenging life, she managed to maintain her connection to the Ribbono Shal Olam no matter what. It is easy to feel connected to God when times are good and everything is going according to plan. But the job of a Jew is that even when it's cloudy outside, even when it's cloudy inside, even when things are difficult, maintain your connection to your Father. Maintain your connection to the Ribbon Shalom. And as such, the miracles of Sari Imenu's tent teach us three profound life lessons. Keep the Shabbos candles lit. Bring the holiness of Shabbos from Shabbos into the week. Find the blessing in your dough. Appreciate what you have and don't focus on what you lack. And even if outside and inside it's cloudy and gloomy, even if life is a bit challenging, find the koach, find the strength, find the resolve to maintain, to cultivate, to nourish and to nurture a meaningful relationship with Hashem, even in the midst of trying times. These were the miracles of Sari Imenu's tense and Halavites from these three miracles that we learn how to lead miraculous, beautiful and holy lives. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.